Uh, anybody got any questions for me? Anybody want to ask me anything? Yes, ma'am. I walked into a funeral home at 13. I was shot for the first time when I was about 13 years old. And I walked into a funeral home because of my best friend getting shot. And I bought a casket. I paid $1,500 cash for it. And I still have the casket, but I can't fit in it no more, actually. But I still own the casket. The funeral home can't resell the casket or nothing. Yes, ma'am. I'm 41 years old. That's the best thing. That I, I didn't see past 13. For me to be standing here before y'all, be, through the stuff that I've been through, that's the positive. I got five beautiful kids from five years old to 19 years old. My oldest son is, got five scholarships to go to college. And I tell my kids always, do better than what I did. And at 12 years old, he did better than I did. At 13 years old, he did better than I did. 14 years old, he did better than I did. One of my sons is a, a football player for the Muskegon Big Reds. He did better than I did. And as long as my kids do better than I do, then I ain't got no problems with them. But I had all my kids by one woman. All five of them by one woman. And I'm still with that woman. I have one daughter. I love her to death. She's tattooed on my arm. The only one of my kids that's on, that's portrait on me. And some of you, you know me and know I only got one daughter. I love her to death. I would die for her. Ain't that I wouldn't die for my sons, but I would die for her. Any other questions? You fellas? Y'all scared? No, nobody want to ask me nothing? Only, only one that's got some, some heart is these women? Oh, yeah. I couldn't hear you. It hurt. <laughs> Honestly, it hurt. It burns. You smell your flesh burning, it stinks. Real bad. Getting shot ain't fun. I'm not telling you this or telling you these stories to glamorize getting shot because ain't nothing glamorous about getting shot. Ain't nothing glamorous about the recuperation part that you have to go through. There's nothing glamorous about that. Nothing glamorous getting stabbed. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Basically, wrong place at the wrong time, but I was making a drug transaction. Okay? The dope fiend put out a gun, boom, got me. That's how dope fiends do you over there. They will shoot you, they don't care. They don't play that mess that y'all be playing around here. They will pop you quick. Pardon me? No, I, I, I say the same thing, but I see a lot of guys talking about, oh, I'm May, I'm A, I'm Wood, I'm duh, 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 duh. Don't know real gangsters who want to brag about that. And that's just real. You try to keep your stuff as close, uh, as close to the public as you possibly can. I met a gangster in New York when I went to go pick up some heroin. He walked around in a robe and house shoes all day long. And he told me, he called me a, a young black boy. This is an Italian. He said, learn your crime. I never understood what he was talking about. I'm, I'm cool, I'm bad. I got my Mac 10s and my nine millimeters and all this, I'm, I'm, I'm a gangster. It wasn't until I got locked up I learned what he told, 
what he was talking about. You out here selling all these drugs and stuff like that, and you so dumb, you don't know what the police can do to you or what they can't do to you. You that stupid. So I learned my crime. I learned what I was doing, how to do it, and how to do it differently. But in life, you only got two choices, to learn it the easy way or learn it the hard way. And I will keep reiterating that. You will learn it the hard way or you will learn it the easy way. And trust me, if you learn it the easy way, you'll get a lot further in life. You learn it the hard way, your life is going to be hard. 